Greetings and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have Oppo A3 Pro 5G smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. If you are using your phone by your single hand then it feels very uncomfortable to reach at the top of the screen and open any app but there is a gesture by which you can open any app from one hand very easily. To enable this simply go to your home screen and tap and hold and then click on more. There you will see the option of icon pull down gesture click on this and enable this. Now whenever you are on home screen simply swipe from the corner like this and it will uh, take all the icons in the corner now select any app you want to open here I select Play Store and it will open that app so that's how you can open any app on the home screen very conveniently in the smartphone you can use two applications at the same time in a single screen to do this simply open any app now swipe up by using your three fingers and then select the second app you want to use for example I want to use Play Store with the Chrome, now you can see you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. The next feature is also for your convenience. If you are using your phone by one hand, it feels very uneasy to swipe up from the top and open the control panel. But there is also a gesture for this. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more. There you will see the option of swipe down on home, home screen. Click on this. And by default it is selected to global search. Now select notification drawer. Now whenever you are on home screen simply swipe down on the empty area it will open the control panel so you don't have to stretch to the top of the phone. You can also monitor your real time internet speed in your status bar and that too without downloading any third party app. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on notification and status bar. There on the top you will see status bar, click on this. Now you will see the option of real time internet speed. Simply enable this then it will start showing your internet speed in your status bar. You can also clone any app or create dual app of any application in the smartphone so that you can use two accounts of a single app that too without downloading any third party app. Simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on apps. There you will see the option of app cloner. Click on this. Now it will show all the apps which are clonable in your smartphone. Now select the app you want to clone. For example, I want to clone Facebook. Then click on create app clone. It will take few seconds and it will create the clone of the app or create dual app. Now come to this home screen and there you will see two different Facebooks and now you can log in with two different accounts in a single application by this feature. You can also lock any app in the smartphone. Simply follow these steps, open your settings, scroll down and then click on apps. There you will see the option of app lock, click on this. Firstly enable app lock. Now set a privacy password. For this click on settings. You can set a 6 digit password or if you want to use a different password type then click, a, click on use a different password type. Now select your password type here I select pattern. Draw your pattern and then confirm your pattern. Now you have to answer a security question. After this click on this done icon. Now select the app you want to lock. For example I want to lock my chrome application. Now whenever you will open the chrome application it will ask for that privacy password and that's how you can set any lock in any application. You can hide any application in the smartphone. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on security and privacy. Now scroll to the bottom. There you will see the option of hide apps. Firstly you have to set a privacy password. If you have done this then draw your password. Now select the app you want to hide. For example, I want to hide my Facebook. Firstly, you have to set a access code. That's you can access your hidden apps. Click on settings. Now set a access code. But keep in mind you have to start your access code from hash and also end it with hash. Here I select hash123 hash and then click on this right icon. Now click on done. Now if you want to access your hidden app, simply open your dialer and then type your access code hash one two three hash and it will open your hidden apps this is a feature of smart charging by this feature you can increase the lifespan of your battery to enable this simply open your settings scroll down and then click on battery scroll down there you will see the option of smart charging enable this now it will 
take normal speed up to charge your phone to 80% and after that it will take a little bit extra time so that's how it will increase the lifetime of your battery with the help of next gesture you can lock your phone by just double tapping and unlock it by just double tapping on the home screen simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more there you will see the option of double tap to lock enable this scroll down and you will see the option of double tap to wake or turn off screen also enable this now whenever you are on home screen simply double tap on the empty area it will lock your smartphone and if you want to wake your screen again double tap on the screen it will wake your screen just like your desktop or your laptop you can also open any window it will float on the screen and you will be able to keep on using your phone to enable this simply open any app and then put it in recents now click on these three dots there you will see the option of floating window click on this now you you can see your app will start floating you can also drag it anywhere if you want to increase the size you can also do this from the corner of the app and you can keep on using your phone normally so that's how you can use this floating window feature when your phone is locked you can simply long press your volume down button and it will turn on your flashlight to enable this feature simply open your settings scroll down and then click on additional settings scroll down and then click on motion and gesture there you will see the option of turn on or off torch with volume button simply enable this now whenever your phone is locked simply long press your volume down button it will turn off and turn on your flashlight with the help of next feature you will be able to access your favorite apps very easily simply go to your settings scroll to the bottom and then click on special features there you will see the option of smart sidebar click on this click on get started firstly enable sidebar now you can see a little bar on the right side of the screen you can simply swipe left to this bar and it will open your smart sidebar so you can see you can access your favorite app you can also edit this click on edit button if you want to add any app for example i want to add chrome it will add here if you want to delete any app from here simply click on this minus icon and then click on done and now whenever you are using your phone simply swipe from the left and it will open your sidebar if you will long press your power button it will open the voice assistant instead of your uh, power menu to change it to power menu simply go to your settings scroll down to the bottom and then click on additional settings scroll down and then click on power button click on press and hold the power button by default it is selected to voice assistant select power menu now whenever you will long press your power button it will open the power menu if you want to change your but three button navigation to gesture navigation you can also do this simply go to your settings scroll down to the bottom and then click on additional setting on the top you will see the option of system navigation click on this and instead of buttons click on gesture and then click on cancel now your phone's navigation has been changed from three button to gesture navigation now to go back simply swipe from left or right to come to the home screen simply swipe from the middle bottom or to open recent simply swipe from the middle bottom and hold for some few seconds so that's how you can change your three button navigation to gesture navigation the next feature is also for you to use your phone by one hand conveniently simply open your settings scroll down to the bottom and then click on additional setting there you will see the option of one hand mode enable one hand mode but keep in mind this works only if you are using gesture navigation now if you want to open your one hand mode simply swipe down from the bottom of the screen and you can see you will be able to use your phone from your one hand very conveniently now if you want to exit your one hand mode simply tap on the empty area so that's how you can use one hand mode in this smartphone you can also use that beautify mode while video calling on any social media app to do this simply open your settings scroll down and then click on additional settings scroll down there you will see the option of retouch appearance in video call simply enable this there are multiple ways by which you can click a screenshot in the smartphone to enable all those gesture simply go to your settings scroll down to the bottom and then click on additional settings again scroll down there you will see the option of screenshot click on this now enable all these three gesture 
three finger swipe down, three finger touch and hold and power and volume down button. Now first gesture is to swipe down by using your three fingers. It will click a screenshot. The second way is to use your three fingers and touch and hold on the screen. You can also select any specific area from this gesture and then click on this right icon. The third way is to press your volume down and power button at the same time. Simply click these two buttons at the same time and it will click a screenshot. In the status bar, you will see the option of screenshot as well. Simply click on this and it will click a screenshot. If you want to click a long screenshot, you can also do this. Simply click a normal screenshot and then click on scroll. Now adjust the length of the screenshot by scrolling. After this, click on done. So that's how you can also click a long screenshot in the smartphone. You can also schedule your power off timing in the smartphone as well so that it won't disturb your sleeping time. To do this, simply open settings, scroll down and then click on additional setting, scroll down and then click on schedule power on or off. Now select the time uh, when you go to your bed and then click on finish and then set the time when you wake up and after this click on finish then it will uh, power off your smartphone at the specific time and power on your smartphone automatically. In this smartphone you can fully customize these app icons. To customize this simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on icons. Now you can change the size or shape of these apps icon and if you want to rename this you can also do this you can also hide the names of this application and you can increase the size of the name of the application after this click on apply so that's how you can customize the apps icon in the smartphone so these were tips and tricks and hidden feature of oppo a3 pro 5g smartphone if you like this video then let us know in the comment section we will see you in the next one till then have fun and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel